On today's episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, we're going to be continuing on with the Human Elements of Safety Week 2, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the podcast. As we mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, we're going to be continuing on with the human elements of safety. And this week, what we're going to be providing you with is going to be an additional five tips that are going to help you go through and make sure that you have the human elements of safety at your facility. So the very first thing that we want to talk to you about today is going to be peer-to-peer support making sure that you're always there for your fellow employees, uh, for management, for just everybody, including people that come into your facility in the form of vendors or uh, uh, just you know anything that you can imagine, visitors. Make sure that you always have that peer-to-peer support and that you're letting people know that you care. It's actually something that we're gonna talk about as another step. Uh, the other thing is gonna be active listing. Making sure that you're not just staring at somebody and uh, it's going in one ear and out the other, that you're active listening, that you're hearing the things that they're talking about, that you're uh, thinking while they're talking that, uh, you know, ways that you can go through and act on the stuff that you're being uh, uh, brought to your attention. Uh, The third thing is going to be leading by example. The speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. So not only management uh, and safety people or maintenance doing the things that they're supposed to do, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, uh, hopefully it's going to become contagious. And just through osmosis, people are going to do the same thing that you're doing. So you can't expect someone to do what you're telling them to do if you're not doing it yourself. So make sure that you always lead by example. The next thing is going to be showing that you care. We talked about this Uh, just a couple steps back, you know, make sure that you not only are listening, but that you are uh, kind of implementing the things that you are uh, being told. So show that you care, show, give the empathy. Um, If it's something that you can't fix immediately, let the, uh, the person that you're talking to know what it is that you are going to do. Let them know that the things that you can do, not the things that you can't. And last but not least, report safety concerns uh, properly. So that could be something as simple as if something happens, tell the person that you're supposed to in the form of a supervisor. If that supervisor does not act on it or if you feel like it's not necessarily the answer that you were expecting, um, I'm not telling you that you should necessarily go above them. But if something is not being acted on, especially in the case of safety, um, maybe it's a leak, maybe it's a sound, maybe it's a, a buzzer that's always out or a, a indicator light or you know something that is safety related or just something that you see that you know is just outwardly not safe. Make sure that you let somebody know. And again, if they don't act on it, go above them. If they don't act on it, go above them and keep going until you get it fixed because you would rather a situation happen where you have to maybe ruffle some feathers uh, other than something bad happened that you know is just you know kind of impending doom. So make sure that you go through those channels properly and do it uh, diplomatically to where you're not you know ruffling feathers uh, as minimally as you can. Uh, so these are by all means not the end all be all of tips. Just know that it's a great place to start. Always observe the rules and guidelines of your specific facility. We thank you so much for being part of another episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. We'll be back with you next week for week three of the human element. Until then, have a great day, stay safe, and here is a word from one of our sponsors. It's scientifically unexplainable. It's virtually indestructible. And it's taking over the entire planet. But in a really good way. It's Mighty Line Floor Tape, the most durable floor tape in the world. Seven times thicker than average floor tape. Beveled to endure pounding warehouse traffic. And backed with a super strong peel and stick adhesive, so you'll never have to worry about painting shop floors again. Mighty Line Floor Tape, the only durable stripe.